Welcome back to the Middle Harbor, where as you can see, the development is taking shape day by day. Now, Tom Baldwin is here with us once again to explain why we're surrounded by all of these little green flags. I hear it has something to do with something called a wick drain. Yes, these little green flags mark the locations where they're going to drill the wick drains. And what the wick drains are, it's a cloth fabric that they drill down into the ground about 90 to 120 feet. And what those drains do is basically absorb the moisture from the lower levels of the landfill and help consolidate that landfill. Now, is there an example you can give of how that might work in, a, in another type of setting? Uh, yes, actually, if you take like a uh, bowl of water and you take a shoestring, you cut off the ends and you put one end in the bowl and you set the other end on the table, that shoe will, shoestring will actually wick water out of the bowl and onto the table. A solid foundation is essential to any construction project, especially when that project is hundreds of feet tall. I'm talking about the replacement for the Gerald Desmond Bridge and one of Long Beach's oldest resources had to be moved to make way for its foundation. This bridge we're driving on, the Gerald Desmond Bridge, is being rebuilt, and already construction is visibly changing the landscape. However, before foundations can be driven into the ground to support the weight of the new bridge, the land below, hundreds of feet below, also needs to be prepared. So what does this mean, especially when the site is also home to one of the largest oil fields in the United States? Basically what they don't want to happen is to have their piles intersecting our well bores. So we need to make sure that our well bores, I mean our old wells are out of the way of their piles, which is exactly what we're doing here. This is the most ambitious oil relocation project that we've ever worked on with the Port of Long Beach. We have wells that you can see behind me that are being removed. When we're all said and done, our top of our well will be 250 feet below our surface to accommodate the foundations that will be supporting the new bridge that's in development. And we just have a few left to do. There's a lot of utilities in the area, some of which need to be removed by third parties before we can access them. When we first started, it was taking months, uh, but as our learning curve increased and we got better at it, we've been getting it down to knocking them out in a couple of weeks. Since 1939, more than 6,000 wells have been drilled into the Wilmington oil field, which is roughly 13 miles long and three miles across, with wells ranging from 2,000 to 11,000 feet deep. Over the past 40 years, most of these wells have been abandoned as their productive cycle came to an end, leaving behind an underground maze of capped wells or huge metal pipes called casings, which are filled with cement to prevent soil and water contamination. To prepare the land for the new bridge, these casings have to be removed and the land made secure. Accomplishing this task, which had never been done before, required both engineering ingenuity and enormous horsepower. If you imagine a, a seven foot diameter pipe that you can literally walk through and trying to put it through this ground we're standing on right now, it takes a lot of horsepower to oscillate that type of casing all the way down to the surface. That big can it basically isolates our well, our old oil wells from the outside soil. And then we get everything out and we backfill with backfill material. Here you can see we've just cut and recovered part of the casing that was in the well. They use these cranes to remove that piece of pipe and then they also will come in and they'll remove any of the, the mud and the earth that is in there. And then they'll add some more uh, of the seven foot pipe and oscillate down even further, maybe another uh, 25 feet. And then they'll make another cut and recover. And they'll continue that operation all the way down until they remove it all the way to 240 feet. They're paying attention to the content of the soil that's going back into these hole holes, making sure that it's as close to natural as, as it can be. Um, I mean, the attention to detail is remarkable. Additional wells are being drilled each year as the Long Beach portion of the field produces 9,000 barrels per day. That revenue benefits the state of California as well as Long Beach infrastructure and community projects. For more information on the Gerald Desmond Bridge replacement project, visit newgdbridge.com. There's more to come on Pulse of the Port, so stay tuned.